Hello, my name is Diane Siebra and this video is not for everyone. This video is for those who want to slim down. Do you want to slim down? Do you think your waist is a little too wide? Do you think there's a little uncomfortable fat under your arm? Especially if you're a woman or a man too and you've got that hard belly, that belly that can't go away, then this video is for you, okay? We're going to talk about oregano tea. Many people don't even know that oregano makes tea and they only associate oregano with, exactly, pizza. So you're saying that I'm going to lose weight by eating pizza. No, it's not like that. Start understanding right away. So if you really want to understand how oregano tea helps you lose weight, start by subscribing to our channel and giving it a like. Also, don't forget to buy our book 100% Health. The link is in the description of our video. www.thislife.com.br livro. You click buy and the book arrives at your home. Oregano is very famous as a spice. It is used in many cuisines and is particularly famous for pizza. But what nobody knows is that it has incredible properties, including slimming properties. But not only that, it also has antioxidant properties. Those of you who are part of our channel know what an antioxidant is. It's something that eliminates free radicals, which are our body's waste products. What's more, as well as being slimming, oregano has a diuretic effect. So if you're someone who retains fluid, who is more bloated one day and less bloated the next, and the weekend is enough for you to put on a couple of kilos, usually due to water, which increases cellulite, which increases stretch marks due to accumulated fluid, oregano is for you. But if that were all there was to it, there are countless other medicinal benefits. Why does oregano do this? Oregano has something called phenolic compounds, which are antioxidants. So it has an anti-inflammatory activity. So a less inflamed body is a body that helps in the process of losing weight. Every obese person has an inflammatory process in their body. If you're fat, your body is inflamed. But not only that, if you're losing weight using oregano, it reduces inflammation and also reduces the chance of inflammation and the accumulation of fat in the arteries, thus reducing the chance of heart attacks, strokes and thrombosis. Everything that is anti-inflammatory and antioxidant you already know slows down aging. In other words, it's anti-aging. Another advantage of oregano is that it acts on the digestive system. Did you know that? What do you mean? It acts on the salivary glands, so it stimulates the production of digestive enzymes. How so? Look, it's very fragrant. Oregano is very fragrant. I love the smell of oregano. I don't know about you. So when the smell of oregano enters the nostrils, there are nerve endings that tell your central and digestive nervous system the following message. Here comes food. Then the brain cleverly says, salivary gland produces a digestive enzyme and the process of digestion begins. Those who use oregano produce more digestive enzymes and digestion is better. So if you have problems with stuffiness, poor digestion, belching, gas, then you need to eat more oregano and oregano tea. But what are oregano's active ingredients? Write them down. Cervical, cimin, linalool, tannins. Wine also has tannins and all these active ingredients bring benefits to the body. What benefits? Write that down too. Analgesic, i.e. Oregano helps with pain. We've already talked about antioxidants, expectorant to break up phlegm, antifungal. For women with recurrent candidiasis, oregano will help you a lot. We've already talked about digestion, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. If you have an infection, boil, pimple or other things, it helps a lot in balancing the intestinal flora. Our intestines have a lot of bacteria, good bacteria and bad bacteria, and it helps to control this balance of bacteria. And Cervacol, the substance we've already talked about, helps to kill cancer cells. In other words, it has a chemotherapy-like action. Guys, what an impressive thing. I'm here in the middle of the Sertão at a retreat here in the town of Arco Verde. And I was already worried about how I was going to finish this video because there's no light. I'm here in the middle of the woods. Didn't all the lights come on? Look at that. Now, how do you get oregano? You can get oregano in any supermarket, in health food stores, in agronel stores, in various places. Now, oregano isn't used. People only think of oregano as seasoning, that little powder, that little leaf that you throw on top. There are other ways of using oregano. It can be used in the form of essential oil, dried leaves and green oregano leaves. And an alternative is infusion, using the top parts of the plant. Have you ever seen the oregano plant? Look at it. It can also be used as a powder with a teaspoon in water. Did you know that? 
Another option is to flavor your olive oil with oregano, which is very powerful. Take advantage of this and watch this video here. Once you've finished, click on the olive oil video, then you can consume a tablespoon of olive oil mixed with oregano a day. You can also prepare oregano tea, which should be consumed three times a day. To allow the benefits of oregano to be achieved, you have to consume oregano every day. You don't have to eat a jar of oregano, but you can consume it every day in dressings, salads, or tea. And ideally, it should always be added at the end of preparations, as oregano is the finishing touch because you can't cook it at high temperatures, as it could lose its properties. Now for the real oregano tea, to dry you out, to slim you down, to reduce your size. Note that it's very simple. A tablespoon of oregano, a cup of boiling tea, in other words, you boil the water. Then in the cup, there's the oregano. You pour the water you've just boiled into the cup, with the oregano. Then you mix the two together and leave it to infuse for around seven to 10 minutes, which is how long the water extracts all the active ingredients from the oregano. Then strain and drink up to three cups a day. What other ways do you know of to use oregano? Healthy ways, creative ways, and what property would you like to use oregano to help your life? Post it here in the comments, give it a like, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, don't forget to share this video with everyone you know, especially that person who loves pizza and must like oregano, and my wish for you is that you live healthy, live with passion, and with God in your heart.